Well, we checked, and there are still tickets available for the game, but already we're seeing tickets being resold for a huge markup. It's something lawmakers have tried to crack down on. Kimberly Speakman follows up on that effort. After Bruno Mars' concert last year, lawmakers tried to change the law to stop resellers from being able to sell tickets for way more than they cost. But those efforts have stalled at the Capitol. Now we're seeing tickets for the Rams and Cowboys game going for as much as 10 times more than they were first sold for. Some prices reaching into the thousands of dollars. I mean, it's frustrating because, you know, you're trying to get these tickets that your team is coming to play and we don't have an NFL team being in Hawaii. You know, it's not too often we get entertainment like this to come down and for people to take advantage of the, the people here. For one, it's wrong. For two, I understand people are trying to make money. That's not ridiculous. Alana believes things need to change. So I must be scalpers not to be able to come in and steal all the tickets. You know, just make scalping illegal. There still will be people scalping tickets, mm -hmm. but it won't be as easy mm -hmm. for them to do it, you know. Stephen Levins with the State Office of Consumer Protection says he testified in support of previous scalping bills because they would prevent respect sales, which are sales in which tickets are promised, but the seller doesn't physically have them. If you're buying tickets, you should be able to know that you're guaranteed those tickets. Mm -hmm. And that's what we were hoping that that proposed legislation was going to take care of. He says bot sales is another problem legislation and sellers need to tackle. The ticket brokers, the ticket sellers could do a better job of making sure that they guard against these ticket bots from securing all these tickets. Kimberly Speakman, KHON 2 News.